Well, I think we can switch it on now. That was actually a headlock. We had to remove that before we switched it on. And uh, these are the inks that came with the printer. And half of these just go towards priming the lines. 110 ml. And that's my uh, 350 ml set right there. So these will, I think, just give me about perhaps a dozen H3 prints, and then I'll have to switch over to those. Okay, so let's switch it on for the first time. This is, I think, 97% Pantone coverage. Which uses Epson Ultra Chrome HD inks. I mean, I, I bought this about three years ago, two years, three years, I can't really recall. But the thing is that even today, these are for sale, brand new, and even today, this is the best fine art photo printer available. They do have versions um, which can print out wider paper formats. This is this can print up till 24 inch wide, and the PA thousand can print up to. I think it's 44 inch wide. I don't know, it might need to remove this or... You know what, I think I'm gonna switch off the camera for a while. There's a lot of, whole lot of tapes to be removed first. The last thing I want is to switch it on and get some errors. Yeah, better take my time on this. So, uh, these are for the, uh, this, this is where the spindles go for the rolls, roll papers. This is for the hard drive, network cable. Okay. I've been, I just saw a few YouTube videos, set of videos. And um, the whole setup, I'll have to configure this whole thing up initially. It takes about an hour, two hours. I, I might, for me, it might take like up to three hours because I do want to take my time on this. Instead of getting it wrong, it's better to take time on it. So, yeah, these are the rose panels. Two inch, three inch, they can handle both paper cores. And this right here is actually um, the basket assembly. And believe it or not, this is the most difficult thing to assemble in the whole unit. Uh, so basically, one side do this, there'll be a basket, basket hanging right here, which will act as a paper grabber, print grabber, once the print comes out. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm, I'll probably Take another day on this tomorrow. So, anyways, it's going well though. I mean, you know, faster than I expected. For prints, I think we'll probably I'll probably start on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, that that sounds like a fair estimate. Certainly don't want to rush anything. I don't have no space storage space, that seems sad. All these papers. Yeah, I'll probably have to put a cabinet right there sometime. The lockdown has partially ended though, but uh, it's only, uh, that, that's, that's, that, that's only applicable to the construction industry and daily wagers, laborers, and the shops as such are still closed. Those are our label printers because I'm going to tag every different paper. I'll uh, place a small sticker on its back so you can tell what paper that is. This one is an Epson label printer. 
these are some A4 letter papers. Uh, the papers are scattered all over the place, so we'll be good. Another day, maybe. And if we do need to cut papers, this is the Logan Elite Cutter again. BNH purchase. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll I'll take a break today. It's 8 p.m. now, and the rest I'll start tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't think I should be plugging this in right now to the power. Let's just um, watch another video too. Set up video and have a closer look at this guy here, so we can do it right the first time. All right, bye-bye.